nice. Okay. Clearly, you're dealing with someone here, Cancer, who you want commitment with. Okay. Now, this person's at a crossroads here. There's a wrong road and then there's love. This person needs to gather their shit together and they really need to know that they want to fight for love. The problem here is that this person is very trapped with their own expectations or this person is trapped with their own inner fears out here. This person has had a very bad experience in the past, okay, and they have um, this fear that there are chances that the same would be repeated. If not, there is a certain situation that they have fear in their head about, okay, and which they're repeating over and over and over again, okay. They keep thinking and they keep over analyzing the situation, which is getting them into a position where they feel their hands are tied and they can't do anything about it. Okay. They definitely want to balance out the situation. They want to make things fair. They want to give uh, to the situation. But somewhere, somehow, I feel that this person, all this while, they've always taken more than they have given in this relationship. And you've been mothering this person, okay? You've always been taking care of this person here. You could have waited for a very long time for this person to come towards you, okay, with commitment or wanting to emotionally involve themselves completely the way you have involved yourself into this relationship, okay? Let's see. But they, they want to balance it out. What's the six of pentacles? What's the six of pentacles? This person could either be giving to two people, okay? Two people um, does not have to be another romantic connection here. This just could be, yes, this could be somebody who's keeping their options open. A, doesn't have to be for everyone. B, I feel this person already has other responsibilities where they're already occupied in because of which they can't focus on you, okay? Or C, this is just a relationship which was not balanced here, okay? They were probably not making this relationship a priority. Everything else was a priority but this connection. What's the eight of swords? What's the eight of swords? What's the eight of swords? Yeah, see, this person's just taking forever, okay? They make you wait. They're making you wait right now. They're just like leaving things to the universe. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. They don't want to go against the flow, okay? They just resist. They're, they're just like more like, you know, going very slow. And, you know, um, I think right now this person thinks you create a lot of drama in their life. At least this connection or this situation is creating a lot of drama and conflict in their life. So for right now, they just are, you know, it's like I'm literally getting somebody who's shutting their ears, closing their eyes. It's like, you know what? Go. For right now, I don't want to see this situation. I don't want to see this connection for right now, okay? Because there's too much chaos that has been created by this connection. And for right now, this person just wants peace. And they just want to have a lot of moderation, okay? Sorry, guys. I, I was interrupted. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, I think this person is a little bit of a, of an attention seeker, okay? Maybe they like and they enjoy attention from other people. That's why the Six of Pentacles, where they're giving to others or they enjoy entertaining others also, okay? This is sort of very few of you all, right? So just don't take it. I mean, very literally. But yeah, with the lovers here, this person needs to make a choice whether they want commitment with you, with you or not, okay? But yes, there is a strong twin flame connection here. Not a strong, there is a twin flame connection here, okay? So yeah, this person feels it, they know it, but it's about them, what they choose, okay? What does this person feel for cancer? What does this person feel for cancer? Tell me, what does this person feel for cancer? <laughs> See? They're not talking. They're not opening up. They're just being restless on another level. But they won't do anything. They feel things are stuck and stagnant between you guys. Either they've kept things on hold or you've kept things on hold here. Right now, there's no communication. Okay? This person is clearly trying to stay away from being emotionally involved in this connection. Okay? They're keeping you on hold. They're keeping the connection on hold, all right? And right now, they're just choosing not to make a decision here. Fear could be a very big um, element here that is affecting their decision-making skills. Right now, this person is blocking themselves completely. They're flat out blocking you out, okay? Not wanting to make a decision. I'm getting here with uh, the temperance and the two of swords. Yeah, this person just wants to stay balanced right now, okay? They know that whatever decision they make is going to rock the boat, okay? So either they choose to commit to you, which is again something not very risky for them and if they don't okay so if they say a complete no they know you'll walk away but because the connection is so strong they, they just want to keep you in between okay so that's what they're doing right now they're just keeping you on hold right now so they haven't made a decision about you at yet as yet okay but yeah things are on hold here maybe this person's trying to see things from another point of view because of which they're choosing to wait over oh, the emperor here what's the emperor here i mean this person is serious about you they could see you as a fatherly figure here what's the emperor here 
They see you as a boss. They see you as someone who's got their shit together. What's the emperor? Could be coming up as someone very stubborn. A control freak. What's the emperor? Ha. Huh. So this person out here, right? This person's very focused on their career, their goal, their money right now. Okay. Like I said, right? This person's trying their best to distract themselves probably. Okay. And they're very focused on themselves. I think they're working on themselves, trying to better themselves, you know, like that being very... um persevering in mastering their craft okay so i think right now they're very focused on their business okay or they're just trying to get control of their life okay they're trying to get their shit together which is why they could get kept you on hold okay mm -hmm. why the hangman so there's a pause in your relationship okay i don't think things have ended but there's a pause here what's the hangman here hmm yeah, they're in two minds. This person has a lot of other commitments that they need to uh, cater to. Could be taking care of their family, work, and you trying to, you know, have that balance between the love life and work life or family life and love life, whatever it is, okay? But this person's trying to find a balance out here. I feel all that attention right now is going on something else. Doesn't look like another person here. Could be. Doesn't have to be. I'm not getting that so much here. But it definitely looks like this person is putting all their attention to something else. Okay. And right now you're really not their uh, priority right now. Okay. You feel stuck out here. Okay. Cancer. I'm getting you feel very stuck out here because this person's keeping you on hold. It's going to be up to you whether you want to stay stuck in this connection or whether you want to keep moving forward. And if this person really wants you, they'll come back. Okay. Something like that. But yeah, right now this person keeps you on hold. It's a very on and off connection. They're juggling, you know, juggling two people. You know how the two of pentacles is, right? Juggling between two people, two things, two situations, whatever, right? I think this could also be someone who is like juggling. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. Now, one more thing I'm getting here is that work or other people's opinions could also be affecting this person's decision. here. Alright? Alright, let's see. Um, tell me what action will this person take towards the sign of cancer? In the next 24 hours. Okay, I have too many cards. Okay, I'm not going to take it. We have the death. We have the king of pentacles. We have the nine of swords. We have the four of cups and the three of swords. No action. Apart from stressing the shit out of them. And apart from you being on their mind on a constant basis. And apart from regretting. A lot of remorse regret about what went wrong. And what they shouldn't have done. And they probably shouldn't have broken up with you. Or uh, whatever. They're just sitting there moping. Okay. Waiting for something to happen miraculously. And things will just move forward with you guys. For right now I feel this person is very focused. Okay. There has been an ending out here. Okay. This person is going through a huge transformation right now. Okay. So whatever ending has happened between you guys right now. Okay. This ending. Yes. I, I said there is a pause here. But this pause is more like... um. The pause is because this person is going through a transformation. Okay. So I don't feel things are over, over between you guys. For some of you, it could be. All right. It's a general reading, guys. Calm down. But um, I feel that uh, with the death card here, this person is going through a huge transformation in their life. Okay. See how they're learning to work on themselves. Okay. They realize that they haven't taken control of the situation here. What's the death? What's the death here? This is a rebirth. This is an ending and a transformation. What's the death here? This person could be resisting an ending to some kind of certain kind of belief system, so certain kind of pattern, some certain kind of thought, okay? That's something that's coming to an end here. They're trying to see things from a different point of view, like I said to the hangman. What's the death here? Yeah, this person is probably finally trying to get the will and the skill and the abilities to make things work out between you guys, okay? So all this while, probably this person was lacking the confidence, okay? And there was a lot of fear of whether they can make things work out with you, okay? They were doubting themselves a lot. But now this person finally is trying to get their shit together and trying to work on themselves, okay? They're trying to better themselves. When this person comes towards you, okay, whenever they do, you're not going to recognize this person. It's going to be like overnight change. You know, and I mean, when they come to us and you're like, dude, I mean, what are you talking about? All right. Like, this is not you. I think this person right now is very focused on their money. They're very focused on themselves, on their own stability. Maybe this person has been someone who's financially struggling. Okay. They could have some financial problems here or they're just focused on building a new career or their own goals. Okay. What's the thing that controls? Yeah, they're emotionally shut off right now because money, money is a priority for them. Okay, someone who's coming off to me as very, very materialistic. They could be traveling. Well, of course, I mean, we're under lockdown here, but um, 
they could be traveling all right so yeah considering the what's going on in the world right now they could be traveling they could be wanting to travel for work i feel there could be emotional distance between you guys okay if this is a long distance physical distance yes but i feel there's some emotional distance here okay there is a cycle that they're closing out you'll just have to wait and watch uh i do see them regretting a lot okay they're in their head a lot okay about wanting to make an offer to you but they just don't know how it's gonna go because with the three of swords here i feel this person's just very hurt right now what's the three of swords what's the three of swords yeah this person is hurting themselves okay they're hurting themselves they're breaking their own heart why because either there are too many people involved in your connection or there's too much drama chaos it's like when this person talks to you or when this person wants to move this ahead right too many people involved in this connection too many opinions involved or it just brings too much drama and chaos in their life and that's something that they want to stay away from okay and because they don't want to confront the situation they're breaking their own heart okay they're just staying there they're doing nothing about this okay they're just going to stress think about you day and night how it could have worked out a lot of could have would have should have but no action all right so that's what i have for you hope this resonates leave your comments below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye